Okay, so in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to explain how to remap your caps lock key uh, to a control key. That means, well, in Emacs, right, so in the tutorial, we saw that you're using uh, the control key a lot, for example, to navigate through your document, to invoke search commands, to do lots of different kinds of stuff. Um, so it's super useful to have a control key, which is... Um, closer, easier to use than the usual placement of the control key, which is kind of like in the lower left corner of the keyboard, right? So typically the caps lock key is, uh, where the caps lock key is now in modern keyboards, you know, this is where they used to put the control key on some old keyboard. I actually was using one of these uh, old keyboards in my undergraduate work. They had these old Unix workstations that didn't have a caps lock key. They had instead a control key where the caps lock is. And, you know, Emacs was kind of designed for systems with keyboards like this. And so if you want to have really efficient use of the caps lock key, uh, I'm sorry, of the, of, of the Emacs commands, basically most people, you know, change the caps lock key to a control key. And so... Um, yeah, I mean, the reason why uh, they, they do this, well, usually uh, caps lock key really isn't used that much, right? So I, I don't know about you guys, but in programming, I'm always, almost never using the caps lock key. So anyways, we're not losing anything. So anyways, so there's a tutorial that I wrote about how to do this on Windows, which we're going to go through. If you're on a different system like Mac OS or... Um, uh, Linux, then you might um, you might have an easier job. So uh, on Mac OS and Linux, I think there's just some uh, some system settings that you can um, you can uh, edit to to remap the control to caps key. And in fact, if you do a Google for Emacs wiki uh, control key, I guess the first thing that comes up is this page, moving the control key on the Emacs wiki, and it shows you all the instructions about how to do this on all of the different operating systems. And they actually have a few different ways of doing it in each operating system. The way that I'm going to show you how to do it um, is uh, on Windows using this program called Auto Hotkey, and this is a pretty um, you know, pretty good way to do it because it doesn't uh, require you to have administrator access. So you can do this potentially on a computer where you're just a user and you don't have admin privileges. So um, es essentially, you know, what this does is there's this uh, there's this program called Auto Hotkey, which lets you um, which lets you create a uh, kind of remappings of your keyboard, right? So what I'm what I'm doing right now, so if I'm in my Emacs and I type caps lock H, actually, so that registers on my system, and it, it appears in my little box when I press the caps lock key here as a control press, left control. So that's what we want, and the reason why that's working now is because I have this little uh, auto hotkey programming running running so that's this H here that we can see cap to ctrl dot exe so what is that thing um, so let's say pause script what happens now so you see the, the H becomes red and now when we press caps lock uh, well, actually, it's still working, so maybe we have to, uh, maybe we have to exit. Okay, so we edit, we exit that auto hotkey uh, script, and here now I'm pressing caps lock, and it actually does register as a caps lock you see up here, right? And so. Yeah, basically, this is an executable file that I created using a very simple script. So here, we can actually create the script in Emacs. So, so let's go, go ahead and do that. Um, so here we go. Here's Emacs. And so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open a file. So this new file, I'm going to create, um, let me see, Control-X. Control F, that's find file, 
And so by default, it prompts me to find a file somewhere in my home directory. Here, I'm going to call that cap2ctrl.ahk. This is just going to be a text file, a script that we're going to create. And hey, actually, I already had one created. So there we go. And so this is just a file, a text file that has this caps lock double colon control um, in it. And so what we um, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna run this ahk to exe program, which is gonna convert this little script into an executable that we can run that will actually perform that remapping. So let's do a quick search ahk to exe. Do we still have this on our system? No, let's just download it again. Right. So here it is. It's a zip file. Let's open it up. And so here we have hk to exe. And so let's open that up. Um, it's, recommended that, it's recommended that we first extract all the files. OK, sure, let's do it. Um, into our documents folder. OK, why not? OK, now let's open it up. And so here, source script file. Here we're going to find that cap2control.ahk file that we just created. Destination, exe file. Here, let's call it cap2control.ctrl.exe. Yep. And so now we can just do convert. Yeah. Conversion complete. Great. So now let's open up our home folder and in there we should have something called cap2control.exe and it's got this nice little h icon right so let's open it up okay now you see we have our little h icon running over here that's our cap2 control again and now you see when we actually press the control key that registers as a control key press instead of a caps lock key press right here I'm, I'm actually pressing the caps lock key on my keyboard right now and it's registering as a control and so yeah the last thing that I want to do is I want to tell you guys how to do this automatically on every startup right so here I explain this in my tutorial um, so finally I open C users user app data by typing app uh, percent app data at the Windows start menu so let's do that percent app data so there it is and um, then I copy the caps to control.exe file to user user app data roaming Microsoft Windows start menu programs startup okay so let's do that Microsoft Windows start menu programs startup and you see what I did is I just copy that exe file here and that's gonna run every time I log in um, so yeah that's um, that's it so that's how you remap the control key to uh, sorry how you remap the caps lock key on your keyboard to the control key so whenever you press the caps lock key now uh, well I, I cancel that thing so well, you have to have the thing running, right? But um, again, if we have our auto hotkey program running, all right, that's um, that's this guy here, you know. If we have our auto hotkey running now, it's sorry, our cap two control that exe running, you know, it's going to uh, register our caps lock key presses as control key presses. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.